We're back talking about whether Asian women having plastic surgery to change their appearance is crossing the line. Let's ask Janine, who just went through surgery recently, but you went through a lot more surgery. And was it worth it? I, I'm happy with the results right now. Since the surgery, I feel like I look more alert, more outgoing, and I'm still recovering, but. <laughs> but going further, I mean, you, you made other changes. What was your motivation there? Did you truly want to look more Western? I mean, was that your motivation in doing the extra things? No, that's just to kind of just balance out the face. The common misconception is that getting double eyelid surgery is a form of westernizing your eyes. If you're trying to understand whether or not we are trying to westernize, we're, we're not. It's just for me, it's a matter of convenience, not having to wake up and spend extra 15 minutes every day to do that and stretch my eyelids right. out. At the end of the day, whoever does surgery to look prettier, whoever does that, that that, that problem that you have with whatever you changed is the symptom, not the problem. The, the, your the eyes, conception. if you get Asian eyelid correction, if you have that done, your eyes are the symptom of an issue with your confidence with where you are. Yes. If that fixed your confidence and it made you feel better about yourself, then I'm, I'm happy for you. Most plastic surgeons can tell you that, student, that patients that come in are trying to go for a natural Asian look. They want something that flatters their face. I know the eyelid I'm gonna get, you know, trying to paste on, if you cut and paste a white person's eye on my face, it's gonna look terrible. I have to disagree with that because I know for a fact that when my aunts and mothers and cousins went into the doctor's office, not only did they bring pictures of Charlize Theron's eyes, my cousin's going in with well, Katie Perry's eyes. Well, everyone gets surgery for different reasons. And, these and doctors I'm speaking for the people, a subset a of the population. I can actually give you, though, examples of six doctors that did my family members' eyes with portfolios of different Caucasian well, sets of eyes. This is how I feel as an Asian American. We, unlike Caucasians or white people, we only have black hair, brown eyes, yellow skin. We don't have different eye colors, we don't have different hair colors. And so there's only a certain, a couple molds of beauty, standards of beauty that we can fill. And as an Asian- well, Why is the glass half full when you explain it that way? That's because we're so unique and gorgeous that you don't but need a But if you think about it the other way, <laughs> So from, you're saying from a Western point of view, Asians have unique eyes. But from an Asian point of view, big eyes are unique. Big eyes are the exotic ones. So it's the same thing how, you know, Westerners think a cat eye or an Asian eye is really exotic. We find, you know, bigger eyes unique. And so it becomes something to be sought after. And it's the new standard of beauty. And that happens to any culture who, you know, witnesses the overexposure and overglamorization of Hollywood. Jeannie, you, you make a good point. Dr. Lee will agree. You have to do your homework. It is surgery. There always are complications. Or the potential for complications, the potential of having to redo Absolutely. a surgery. Do your homework, make sure you go to somebody who's doing this all the time, board certified plastic surgeon with experience doing the type of surgery you wanna have done. And, and just real quickly out of curiosity, Dr. Lee, would you do this procedure on your own daughter? Well, you know, I've done it on my wife and it's, she's actually in the audience. She's had everything done <laughs> from head to toes. And uh, so of course, yeah, I would, I would have, uh, I would have, any of my family members um, have this type of surgery if it's going to make them look better, sure. But if you're getting something done time and time again to, to change what you've already done or to add more to your body, at the end of the day, I, 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 I would suspect that you're not okay with yourself. And Jean, we're going to have to talk about this another time because this is an ongoing debate that no one's going to resolve. But I do think that everyone here would agree you should not change the way you look to change either your ethnicity or something that you're changing because of pressure from others. Dr. Correct. Lee, thank you so much.